Hello? Yes, Hoyt. Oh, my life. Want to fight about it? No, man. John Boy Miller here. What do you say there, you big old hairy, no driving, nose picking, <laughs> booger flicking, so and so, such and such, he haw look. Sorry, Hoss. I wrote some new ones. I can't find my scratch pad. <laughs> well, that's all right, buddy. We all love the classics. Uh, so, what's new at Casa de Double Wide? Well, me and Deborah had us an eventful weekend. DuPont Automotive Finishes run a sales contest last month. Me and him won. Oh. Got a trip for two to the race in Michigan. No kidding. Uh, yeah, boy. Airfare, pit passes. They put us up at this high dollar joint called the Checkered Flag Inn. Mm. Whew. Had free breakfast in the lobby, all kind of skin of max and whatnot on the TV. <laughs> Even had a shuttle bus to take you from the hotel out to the track. Well, well how'd that go? Not too good. <laughs> Never actually made it to the race. <laughs> I had to take Deborah to the emergency room. He got his nose broke. Do what? Every bone in his nose <laughs> broke. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all didn't get into it with a Gordon fan over Junior's new ride, did hey, you? Hey, hey, old house. If you don't mind, we ain't quite ready to speak about the unholy alliance between Junior and he who must not be named quite yet. <laughs> well, I understand. Uh, well, let us know when the shock wears off. All right. Huh? Uh, so what happened to Delbert's nose? Well, me and him got up Sunday morning, went out to catch the first shuttle out to the racetrack, and Delbert forgot his sunglasses, had to run back to the room and get them. So I'm standing there all by myself. This old gal comes walking out with a diaper bag over her shoulder and Little bitty baby slung down on her hip. Y'all, I kid you not, this is the ugliest child I have ever seen in my life. Wow, and you met most of Delbert's family. So I have seen me some ugly young people. <laughs> this kid was like something from the bar scene in Star Wars. Yeah. Head was all wop-sided, big old sprig of black hair coming out the top of it, big old lips, flat pig nose. It hurt my feelings to look at it. Oh. If it was my kid, I'd sit him in the corner and feed him with a slingshot. Yeah. Ugly baby. Stone ugly. <laughs> I didn't have to ask why Daddy wasn't with him. I imagine he runs screaming from the maternity ward first time he's seen him. Well, lucky for me, the shuttle bus pulled up right then, so I let old Rosemary and her baby get on in front of me. As yeah. soon as she stepped on, the bus driver gets a look at this kid and goes, Dad, gum, lady, that there's the ugliest baby i ever seen. She says, I beg your pardon. I said, oh, oh, easy there, hoss. You ought not talk that way to a woman. He says, hey. Tell me that ain't the ugliest baby you ever seen. Well, I, I couldn't much argue with him, so I just said, Ma'am, this fella's just ignorant. Don't pay no attention to him. Go on back here and have a seat. Well. So she sits down about halfway back, and I slid in right behind her, mostly so that I wouldn't have to look at Hellboy sitting there on her lap all the way up to the ring. Yeah. Oh, she was hot as a match, all red in the face, cussing that bus driver under her breath. Well, by that time, Deborah comes in, sits down next to me. This old gal is sitting there calling that fella everything but sport. Mm -hmm. Deborah leans up and says, hey, lady, what's the matter with you? She says, the bus driver just insulted me. I said, uh, Deborah, you probably want to butt out of this in here. Mm -hmm. Deborah says, well, what'd you do to him? She says, I ain't done nothing to him. I'm a good mind to go up there and give him the what fur. And while I'm up there, I ought to get his name and license number and report him to the bus company. Deborah says, well, I think that sounds like a good idea. Go on up there and talk to him. Here, let me hold your monkey for you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that when Deborah's nose got broke? Nah, it's a big ten. Yeah. Me and him ended up in the emergency room instead of the racetrack. Hey, listen, I got to run here. Me and the elephant man is fixing to go to work. <laughs> you going to see Goober later on? Yeah, well. You tell him I said, uh-huh. He'll know what you mean. All right. Y'all keep him straight up there. All right. Die.